Hello and welcome to this latest Tableau for Sport video. Uh, this time we're going to create a table. Uh, and despite how easy this is and, and the reason for tools like Tableau is to be able to visualize information, there's obviously times where you just want to create a simple table of facts and figures and, and that kind of stuff. And it's not actually the most intuitive thing to do in, in Tableau. So I want to just cover off how exactly we would do it. So let's dive into our data. And this is a simplified version. We can obviously add more metrics to this. But again, I'm using my Champions League final. And we're just going to look at the two teams, list of players, and then some metrics across here. Okay. And again, once you've done this once or twice, we can just repeat it and you can build out the table as you go. So I'm going to create a new sheet here. And I'm actually going to create a, a brand new connection to this data set. So I want a completely clean data set. If you're following along from the previous videos, by all means, just keep going with that. But for me, I'm going to connect to this. And the reason I'm doing this from a clean install is just because I've, I've created stuff as we've been going through these tutorials and I just want to start from, from scratch here. So let's drag in the 2019 Champions League final and go back to our uh, blank sheet here. Okay, so the first thing I want is the two teams. So I'm going to separate everything by the teams. So we have Liverpool and Tottenham. Next will be the player name. And you see that goes into the next column. Now, one thing that happens here is Liverpool doesn't fill all the way down. There are ways you can you can get around that. Generally, it's not that necessary. Something I'm going to do here is just right click and I'm going to rotate the label. So it takes up a little bit less space, but fills in. And then I'm just going to hide this. Okay, so I just find that a little bit neater. Um, there. Now you could add in additional thing. I think there's position, uh, position ID or position name or something like that that they may have played in the game. But you can see they've played multiple positions the way uh, StatsBomb code this. So I'm I'm not going to bother with that kind of stuff. But you can obviously add in more details here if required. But now to the important thing in terms of the actual data. And if we scroll down. If we remember from our very first video, Tableau breaks the data into two sections. So there's a thin dividing line here. Above the line are text and date fields. Below the line are, are numeric values. And the way this again is coded and your data set might be slightly different. You might have loads of measures in here, but this doesn't really have any. It has loads of text. So, you know, I could create a table. Uh, what is it? Type is the event. So I could get, you know, all of the events and then put our account in here. So it shows me, you know, how many carries and many blocks and many whatever. And you could, again, put type name onto filters and filter out some of those. But then you don't have the outcomes. So I don't know how many pass completed or pass, you know, I, I might want to break this down and be a little bit more detailed about this than just have a giant table of event names. OK, so I'm just going to drag those away for a second. So that's what I want to show you is, is how to create that. And because this is all essentially text and um, we need to turn this into measures. So we need to tell Tableau what to count. So we're going to do this with calculated fields. OK, so I'm going to create a calculated field. And I'm going to call this total passes. And we'll just go if type name equals pass and the pass outcome name is null. So again, I'm the way this uh, data is formatted. So if it's null, it means completed then completed. Oh, sorry. Uh, if it's both of those, then I want a one and then I'll type end. Okay. So this checks that the event is a pass and that the outcome is null. So in this particular data set, null means it was a completed pass. Uh, total pass is completed is what we're analyzing here. So total pass is completed. So I'm going to click one to that 
and now I'm going to drag total passes completed. You see it's a measure because we're every time those that conditions met it returns the number one and now we're going to add those up. So total pass completed and when I'm creating a table I always drag the measures onto the ABC. Okay so now we can see how many passes have been completed here. Let's create another one for total passes this time. And it's going to be quite simple. We can say, um, yeah, if type name equals pass, then one end. Okay, so again, it'll look for any time the event name was pass, it'll return the number one, and then we're able to add all of those up per player, and it gives us our total passes. So again, total passes to here, and we get two columns. Now just to show you, if you drag total passes to the label, it puts it under it, which I think is of no practical use to anyone really. So I always do this by just dragging it on top of the table here. We get this measure values, and it means we'll be able to add more measures in here, but let's for now, uh, I'm gonna go and format these before I forget. So these should be number no decimal places and the same with this one number no decimal places okay and let's just center everything as we're going here and expand this out okay so we can see how many passes they've made how many they've completed let's just keep going create another calculated field this time pass completion percentage we probably did this in another video but And this is going to be the uh, this one. I can drag it in. So sum of the total passes completed divided by the sum of the total passes will give us a percentage figure. Click OK. And again, we have a new measure in here. So I'm going to drag and drop. Now I can drop it here in the measure values. Or again, I could drop it onto the table. And you can reorder them in this pane here. So whatever suits you and again let's format it to the proper let's do no decimal places okay so we now have a pass completion percentage okay something that can happen is if you've got a zero so uh joe gomez here makes one pass it wasn't completed but it doesn't show zero percent uh one thing you can do if we go back into our percentage sign here our percentage calc is if you wrap those in what's known as a ZN. Means it will return a zero instead of a null and we get a zero percent there. Okay. Okay, so you can continue on. So again, the, the format of this would be create a calculated field and let's even say uh, let's say it's goals okay now I can't remember this one exactly but I think it's shot outcome name equals goal then one end let's see does that work yeah perfect and again let's go and format that so it's just a standard number okay now you can continue on and um, and, and create those metrics and it can feel like quite a lot of work uh, do you know like it's kind of like creating a pivot table same kind of idea feels like a lot of work but what i'd say is you're only really doing this once okay so once i've got these calculated fields created let me just go back and show you if i was to add more games to this okay so again i did this in the first couple of videos but i'm going to take the 2018 final i'm going to drop it in here as a union and a union is like copying and pasting the data one underneath the other. And let's get match date. And I'm just going to show that as a filter. So we've got our two matches here. And you can see, even when I select 2018, all of the calculations are done. Okay. So those calculated fields that you do are related to the data it's connected to. They're not something you have to do over and over and over again. So if you're coding, if you're source of data is consistent so it has the same column headings same names that kind of stuff and um, 
then you only really have to set this up once. So it can feel like quite a lot of work the first time, but once you do it, uh, it's it's done and dusted, okay? And then you're able to put this in, and as you can add filters, you can build up loads of these as you go. One last thing just before I finish is just to have a think about a an alternative to a table. Okay, so this is actually the same same data. Let's add goal in there as well, since we... Oh, this sorry, this is a different data. Yeah, so we've got these three, but I've just subtly added the bars in the background. Okay, so let me just show you how to create that. Just gives it a little bit of a different flavor, I think, than just a wall of numbers. So I'm going to duplicate the sheet. And what I'm going to do is put measure values on the columns. And I'm going to hold control and put measure values on the label. Okay. And let's just make those bars quite subtle. Okay. So we've got them as a, a subtle gray. Maybe I don't want to show that bottom bit okay and we can still sort and what you probably notice is the bars kind of draw your eyes more so than the table so let's align the labels here to the left so it's still a table you still got all your numbers uh, but you're kind of highlighting I think in the background a little bit of this this shading okay so if we look at past completion you know we can look over here and see who had a lot of passes who didn't so Two alternatives, but that's essentially how you'd create a table in Tableau. So best of luck with that.